So this is ultrasound. The x-ray guy said I could check with you. He said you did water. Oh yes. We do water. We are made for water. Did you know whales and dolphins do ultrasound in water? They take scans? I never knew. So you got any pictures? Surely. Look at these. They were made in real time. Great. I am glad you mean real time as opposed to some other kind of time. Well, I guess that's water the black stuff. You've got it. Water is black. It's due to the through transmission. I've got it all right. Through transmission in real time. Is that a good thing to have? In ultrasound we think so. So if water is black, what is white? Well, bone is white. Calcium you know. That's good. Bone is white on x-ray too. So tell me what color is air? Black? No air is white too. Really? So both bone and air are white? That seems like a problem. I mean what do you want me to tell my patient? Oh you see Mrs. Jones you have this white area on your scan that is either bone or air. It doesn't seem like that is going to be very helpful. Is that all that is white? Well stones are white too. That's due to the calcium, right? Well, the stones without calcium are white too. Oh. Okay so soft tissue is? It's gray. Kind of a speckled gray. Here you can see it on the scan. It's due to the echogenicity. What is this speckle thing? It looks like a knockoff of a French Impressionist painting. I guess if you only have gray to work with. You know Surat used color and it worked a lot better. Basically water is black. I think I have it straight now. So if it's black it's water. Well, that's true except for the region behind the stone. It's black too. It's due to the shadowing from the stone. I see. Or I mean I hear you. I think I'll try next door. I hear the MR people do water too. Thanks for your time. I mean your real time.